It's day 260. Of the 29th year and beyond. Well, I was up this morning at 4 a.m. Yeah, I'm not a sleeper. And the show came on. It was called Trap Music ATL. So I was curious. Okay. I didn't wake you up because you were so sleeping soundly. Mm. And so they played some songs and um, some artists I really was not familiar with. But then they got into some artists that I sort of knew, um, you know. But the last song they played was a Chris Brown song. And I was like, okay, I don't really consider that trap music. But okay. Um, and the song was called Undecided. So I listened to the song. And it was to um, the, um, the beat of Shanice's I Like Your Smile, which sort okay. of pulled me in. So okay. I was like, okay, I wonder what he's talking about. So I looked up the lyrics. And basically, um, he met this girl. And they were very sexually compatible. And, you know, so they kept having sex. And um, it was like he felt like she wanted to become his wife, but he wasn't sure. He was undecided. But the sex was so good, and so, but he was really undecided. So it got me to thinking. Fellas, look. That's why, you know, you should sort of get to know somebody first before you have sex. Because this can be a determining factor for a relationship, which will ultimately end in a disaster. Because if that's all that you have is the fact that this person can sexually satisfy you, when the going gets rough, this is not going to be enough to sustain you. And furthermore, if she's trying to lure you in just with all these, you know, this sex and sexual tricks, is that really somebody you want to be tied with for the rest of your life? Hmm. Well, you know, I'm certain that there's a lot of folks that place a great, uh, a great, I guess, value on are we sexually compatible mm -hmm. and that kind of thing. Um, and as you said, you know, you can have great sex and not have a great relationship. Uh, the reality is, you know, speaking from a Christian perspective, uh, that was never God's intention, right? Sex was something to be shared with married couples. With that said, uh, if you are having sex, it has the ability to... Uh, alter so many things and uh but if that is the draw if that is the hook if that is the thing but there's nothing beyond that then what do you really have yeah i mean so i suggest if that's the situation that you find yourself in um then pull back you know don't don't try not to have sex because then you can really see the true person that you're getting to know get to know them on another level because that really will not sustain a relationship. And, you know, you know, there have been so many people that I've known that they was like, well, you know, they were really, yeah, but then later on down the line, they saw other parts of them that was not as compatible, so. And, you know, uh, again, what are those things about you? What are your core values? Mm -hmm. What are the things that are most important? Um and the person that you're interested in or that you believe you love, do they represent those things? Are those the things that are equally valuable for them? Or is it all about uh, the physical? And if that's all you want, trust me, that'll be all that you get. <laughs> but if you really want to experience love, um, you need to be able to understand who you're interacting with and it has to go so much further than just what physical relationship you could possibly have. So outside of the bed, do they do they make you smile? Because <laughs> it's two schnitzes. I like your smile. Until tomorrow, <laughs> if the Lord says the same. Bye.